Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode in the Pong tutorial series. It's going to be based very much on beginners. Um, it is Pong, it's going to be a very basic game. There's not a lot involved with the creation, but it's more to get used to variables and arrays and structs and anything like that. Uh, we've opened up to a new project in Unreal Engine. Uh, this is the default map. There's no starter content. We can open the content draw with Control and Shift. And you'll see there's absolutely nothing in there. We will be adding some things to this today. Not a lot because not a lot is needed for now. Uh, but we shall move straight ahead. So on the top left in the file menu, you want to click New Level and basic and this is going to open up a brand new level with nothing in we don't need world partitioned map for pong we barely need all the room here that we have for the floor here so what we're going to need to do first of all is we need to set up the play area which means we're going to need a box where we can move and we're going to need a camera showing the play area so First thing is we need to do is we need to set up a camera. So we click at the quickly add to project button up here at the top and we can go basic. If I can try to find it. If you go to the place actors panel, it opens up here and then you can type in camera and you have the camera actor. Bring that across and that drag that into your world. Center the location on the right hand side. Uh, and you'll see on the bottom right here that the view isn't showing a lot. Click on the little pin there, and either means that it's going to pin to the viewport, even if we're not selecting it anymore. So I can now click on anything else, and the camera will stay there. Click on the camera, press the E button to change to the rotate gizmo, and on the Y axis, which is the green, drag it up to 90 degrees. Then press the W on the keyboard change it to the move gizmo and then drag up on the z-axis hold shift and you can move the camera whilst you're moving the actor so now you can see that we have nice cube easy to see background on the bottom and we'll use that as our play area Click the X on the search bar and then follow to shapes. You can also use geometry as well if you prefer using that, but I prefer using shapes just purely because it comes with a pre-done material. You don't need to have any actors or any coding on this, not yet anyway, uh, but we can add it that a little bit later. And the cube into the map, and you can see yeah, it pops up on the camera on the bottom. Let's scale down on the x-axis because this is going to be the top and bottom wall so we can change that to 1.0.2 drag it up click end while still holding and you see it clips and snaps to the floor click and hold the red arrow and you can move it across You need to scale on the green arrow, so you can click and drag on the scale on the green side here until it reaches as far as you need to go. If you hold Alt and click on one of the arrows on Rotate, on Scale and on Move, it duplicates it and the holding Shift moves the camera at the same time, so you can follow that as well. Going to quickly adjust the camera so it looks slightly better. Perfect. Okay, we don't need to have the camera actor anymore because this camera is going to stay there, it's going to be there for this entire time. So, we are now going to create three blueprints uh, which are necessary for this in order for us to get our game moving because we've gone for a blank template here with no starter content first thing is we need to create a game mode 
So right click in the content browser, blueprint class, game mode, and we'll call it Pong GM. And open it up, drag it into another tab, and back to the main map. We're going to create a character, which will be the player paddle. Again, opening it up, and we're going to create a player controller. Call it Pong Controller. Open up. Lovely. If you go to the game mode now, uh, you will see in class defaults on the right hand side, you have play controller class, default pawn class, and they will match the two that we've got up here. So play controller, pawn controller, default pawn, player paddle. File, save. On all of them, or you can do Control Shift and S, and it will save everything. Call the level Pong level. Drag player paddle into the world. Rotate and place face in the right way, and that is the game world set up. But before we carry on a little bit longer, I'm going to make the paddle visible. So we're going to go add on the left hand side here to cube. And we're just going to stretch this out. So we're going to scale it down so it fits into the capsule. Unlock it and stretch it out on the side. File. Save. So now we see. We have a Pong paddle and a world. If you select the paddle and on the right hand side, um, the details, if you type in uh, possess, you can auto possess that to player zero. And if you click on the camera, you can also, also activate for player zero, which will be the default for the player one. To press play, and then you have a game set up already. With no movement or anything like that, but we'll cover that in a second. <clears throat> okay so for the movement we are going to use the pong controller um, but first we're going to need to go to project settings if you don't have the tab already open you need to go to edit and then project settings here uh, click on input halfway down on the engine category and under the axis mappings you only need one which we're just going to call move up so click on the plus next to move up to give you two options click on the little keyboard there click s uh, w and do it again for s and s will be minus one just and then just quickly double check that you are facing the right way so as you move up then you want it to go up. If you move down, you want it to go down. We may need to change the scaling once we uh, find which way the camera is pay uh, pointing, but that's fine. In your Pong controller, what we can do from the Pong controller is you can right click, type in move up, get an axis event out, right click somewhere next to it, go get controlled pawn, and then from there you can go add movement input, drag off the event and change the world direction, this is in the x axis, add one, 
now if we load the game and press W and S. Doesn't do anything. Let's have a look why. Okay, I found the reason why. It's very simple. Uh, up here, you have a list of world blueprints. You need to scroll over to game mode base and you need to choose your game mode. Choose the Pong, and then that will select your Pong controller. The only issue is you can hit into these walls, which we'll now fix. In your player paddle, event graph, and you want to use the event tick. You want to call a get actor location. Right click on the vector and split it because we're only interested in one of the values. We want to drag off of the X and go is greater than and pull off a branch. And we want to pull off a less than and a branch. Off the false. Drag off of there. Nothing needs to be dragged off of the false here. So we need the upper bounds and we need the lower bounds. And we can set the actor location from there. So go into your Pong level. Grab your paddle and move as far up as you can. I'm just going to lock the viewport so we can see how high we want it to be able to go. So this is 300 and the lower of minus 270. So it has to be greater than 300 and lesser than minus 270. And if it's true, you want to set actor location. And again, split them off. Control D duplicates. And we want the Y and the Z to be exactly the same as it was before, because we're not moving that at all. And we want the new location to be 300, and the new location to be minus 270. So this checks on every frame. If it's over 300, set it to 300, and then it can't go past there. So if we go into here now, I can move up and I can move down, but it only goes as far as that clamp. Perfect. And that is as far as we're going to go for the uh, first episode. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and join the Discord channel as well for any questions that you have. Uh, we will be carrying on with this every couple of days. Uh, there's, like I said, there's not going to be a lot to do at the moment. We haven't even got into the variables or structs. Uh, but once we start talking about pickups and variables of speed, length, uh, live scores, things like that, it will soon start adding up. Uh, we're going to try and add things to this game which people request. So if you want help with arrays or if you want help with structs we'll try and bring that into this as well uh, we'll also look and see if we can do other types of game like temple run or a simple platformer just to give a little bit more variation but thank you guys for watching